I figured, since I hated the movie, I should at least give how I would have made the movie better. I asked Steve Shies to do this. I asked Jason with a D to do this. Let's see how my opinion compares with theirs. So, just in case I do any more of these, here's the formula I'm going to stick to. I'm going to try to keep as much of the movie that I saw there as possible. That is, I'm not going to try to change the plot too much. This is kind of similar to when I did my review of uh, <coughs> Into Darkness. Right as I came out of the theater, I gave my thoughts on Iron Man 3. Same thing. I'm going to give just small suggestions for how I would have tweaked the film that I saw to make it better. So, let's jump into Man of Steel. The first thing I would do scratch any shaky cam where there's not actually an action scene, okay? If it's just Clark and, his Clark and Jonathan on screen, just a still shot, you don't need to have the camera moving like this. Skip the opening on Krypton. Just set it aside for now, okay? That didn't happen right then. Jump to immediately him on the boat and all that scene. In fact, keep, keep the movie pretty much the same right up until he finds the spaceship. He gets on the spaceship, and then uh, Jor-El starts to give him uh, the history of Krypton, and we hear that story again. Cut that out. That's in that stupid grayscale thing that I hated. You might have to reshoot a little bit of it, but take that opening scene, stick it in there. That's where you get that story. It fits with the flashback motive, motif, the motive, that you've already had to date. So, okay, that's done. A, I would take out the scene where... Clark's dad dies, the tornado scene. Jonathan, no. He, okay, he can be dead. Leave it up into the air as to why and how. That, that tornado scene's just stupid. Uh, I did kind of like the interaction they had in the car beforehand, but the, the, once it got to the tornado, bah, stupid. Um, so yeah, just leave it up in the air how Clark's father actually died. Get back to that maybe in a sequel. It's not important. A little tweak to the school bus scene and the maybe have Clark press that issue a little bit more. Just are you really saying you would have let those kids die? Make sure it's clear that no, he really doesn't, but he's struggling with a way to try to protect Clark. Come up with something for him to say such that he's not maybe. Uh, no. Action scenes now. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Okay. Clark should not be taking the action right back to the center of Smallville. If you want to have an action scene, as much as I loathe him doing it, take him to the outskirts of the city, maybe have him crash into a tr one of the trains. You know, he throws something into the train yard. You can still have your explosion, but it's away from the bulk of the people. In fact, have him yell when he lands out there to say, Get away! Get away! Shit's going down! At least show he cares about the people around there, as opposed to walk into, Go into your buildings! And then promptly throws people into buildings. Crap, that sucked. <laughs> okay, uh... I never really understood why Clark had to go around and take out the machine on the other side of the world. Just have him stick in Metropolis. You can worry about that other machine later. Take care of that damn ship over Metropolis. That's where all the people are. Plus, you've got the military going up against the Kryptonian technology that's already been shown they're invulnerable to it. Come on. Uh, what? He fights off the Kryptonians, maybe even damages the ship, allows them to get that device in and then blow up the ship. Or even just have him blow up the ship, that black hole. No. Just take out that ship. Uh, gonna come up, maybe come up with just some way to get it to activate its uh, 
Phantom Zone drive so that, such that it goes away and gets locked there. Maybe by sacrificing a few of the military guys. I can buy that. Ugh. Cut the stupid kiss. That's completely out of place. Uh, you can still have the fight with Zod. I would prefer if they try, if he actually tries to lead Zod away from the city before they fight. Heck, you can even have him snap Zod's neck. I can live with that. But, here's the important thing. Show him helping to rebuild the city. Show him mourning the people who lost their lives. Cut out that stupid scene with the drone. And give a better explanation as to how, why he's working at the Daily Planet now. Oh, God. How did he end up working there? That, it's good. He, he's working there because Clark Kent has to work at the Daily Planet, and that's it. All right. That's my thoughts. Let me know what you think. Am I making any sense with what I just said? Keeping the plot mostly the same, just a few tweaks, and I think the movie's a heck of a lot better. Sayonara, Firefly 404, Andrew, signing off.